Hello, my name is Tim Simmons. I'm here to give a brief summary of what I worked on in Eric Wong's 2013 Software Safety REU project. Right then. So I'm going to give a brief overview of the kind of things we did, what we worked on, so you new people coming in can spend less time than we did learning what the last group did. I can hopefully make this a little easier than the written records we left behind, or at least easier to listen to than read. Although I think I did a pretty good job writing them. Anyway, so our job was to integrate UML state machines with fault trees. Now I'll explain why that's important. A common problem in business, according to Eric Wong, uh, is that in software development, You'll often have a group of developers over here creating a product. And then we'll have another group of testers over here making sure that product works. And that's a decent way to put things together, make it double check. The problem comes in, works like this. You'll have the developers, testers, and nobody talks to each other. If you see the videos that John Chambers, a prior student from years before me did, he explains it pretty well somewhere in that large collection of his. You should go look for it. But anyway, what our solution is supposed to be is we take UML state machines, which developers use to try designing their product, uh, and the testers use fault trees to keep track of what causes things to go wrong. We're going to take this, take this, and integrate them. Make them fit together in such a way that while the developers are working and the testers are working, some of the inconsistencies and the problems that will slow them down will be automatically detected. This is important because I know myself from having worked in smaller groups, at least in the past, uh, you'll often have a point, but if you have a similar arrangement, a developer will write something, he'll think it works, it will work for what he tested it for in his small just make sure things are working. Once he builds it, he'll go off somewhere else. Sooner or later, a tester will come along, double check, realize they made a mistake. Now, not only does he have to go back and fix this, all that work he did in between can be absolutely negated, or thrown away, or rely on something that is no longer actually reliable, useful, trustworthy, what, whatever. So that's what we want to do. We want to take state machines and fault trees and tie them together so that while they're working on the designs, they'll automatically detect a few flaws. Okay? Okay, so that's the basic overview. Let's then talk about the details of what a fault tree is, what a state machine is, and then what we worked on.